everyone, welcome to a new vlog. Today is Friday and I wanted to vlog my weekend. I have to run a few errands today. I need to go drop some Poshmark packages off at the post office. I also have to run to Harris Teeter because I want to get more flowers because my white roses on the coffee table are dead. So I want to go pick up a new arrangement and I want to go to the beer and wine store to pick up some sparkling wine, champagne, and stuff because I have some friends coming over tomorrow on Saturday. We're going to do a seafood boil. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We've been trying to do one for a long time. So we're going to have it here at my place. So I just wanted to go get some drinks for everyone. So I will vlog that and bring you guys along on my weekend. I feel like it's been maybe like a month or a few weeks since I've filmed my weekend. And that's pretty much all I'm doing today. I'm going to get some work done i have some hauls to show you guys some summer fashion clothing hauls so really excited to try those clothes on so i'm gonna head out now to go get those errands done We got the coffees, the egg bites, the flowers I picked out are so gorgeous, so beautiful for spring. And then we got our wines. I got four bottles. I got Rosé, Savion, and Merlot, and Chardonnay, I think. Our cart is restocked. My little carafe is from Ikea. I think I've showed this one time before in an Ikea vlog. I showed my new bedding in the last vlog, but I just needed to show it again because I am still so obsessed with it. This blanket, guys, I slept with this for a couple nights and so soft it's like the perfect summer blanket because it's not too heavy but it's also pretty lightweight like it's breathable but it's like still warm it's really hard to describe but i was really comfortable and i get really hot when i sleep so i actually don't even sleep with a comforter i like to sleep with all the blankets off and then i have like a little throw so i slept with that and ugh, it was amazing i just got a bunch of packages in the mail that i wanted to show you guys because i got a lot of summer clothes and summer fashion things from amazon because i'm going to the beach in a few weeks so i wanted to like buy some really cute beachy summery clothes so i'll show you guys that i also got some bathing suits and like sandals like just a bunch of like summer fashion stuff and then i also have a big boohoo haul i i shop at boohoo like once every couple weeks and i just buy a bunch of things because they only have four dollar like for returns it used to be free but now it's only four dollars when i want to return something so i just buy stuff and i'm just like okay i can return it if i don't want it so i'll show you guys my haul please ignore all of the mess in the background as well as with my face and my hair but i want to show you guys what I got from Amazon I got pretty much all swimsuits from Amazon because like I said I'm going to the beach and I just wanted some new swimsuits that are like flattering to my body because your girl gained weight and yeah I just needed to buy some newer bathing suits that fit me well so I got this one piece I love the color it's like a rustic red or orange it's kind of like a burnt orange I really like how it like is crossed here so yeah it's crossed like this you wear it like down here it's also adjustable so that's good i probably would need to adjust it and the side is cinched here you can adjust that as well i thought that was really cute and i also got this two piece which is pretty different than what i have i really like the style of the top so it's like a brown and white tie-dye it was opened here like this so it'll show a little bit of a little bit of that but i thought that was a really cute and unique design in the bottoms are high waisted. If you look from far away, it kind of looks like cow print, but I thought it was cute. I also got this swimsuit. This is a basic one, but I really love black two pieces. I feel like that's like my go to. I always wear black bathing suits and I like the style of the top. It's like a banjo style. It looked really flattering on the people that were trying them on in the photos. So I got that and then again, high waisted. I only wear high waisted, honestly. And then I also got this cover up. It's like a mesh, long pants, see-through, 
they're pretty like baggy wide-legged I thought that would be nice with the with the black bathing suit that I got I thought that would be a cute like outfit or even like with the red bathing suit and it was pretty affordable it was like $17 I can't remember the prices of the bathing suits but I'll link all these things in the description and I got this in a size large and I think I got all the bathing suits in large as well and then the next thing I got are these crop tops they're like halter crop tops these are like trending these are like super popular I do not know how to put this on but it's the one that goes like this oh god okay I'm gonna just try it on it's really hard to like show it but I got this one and then I also got it in the same style just a different color I thought that would be cute with like a blazer the black one with a blazer would be so cute for like a nighttime summer outfit the next thing I got are these heels these are so cute. These are Bottega inspired. Amazon has like all the Bottega like inspired dupes or replicas. Um, and it has like a strappy here. So like that's the design of it. So I thought that would be so, so cute. I love this style and I like how the heel is not tall at all. I also ordered the same exact pair in white. They are not here yet. And then I just got a couple accessories. I got these sunglasses. And I actually was gonna get them from a website that costs a lot more, but these are like $14 on Amazon. I really feel like it's not showing up because it's so bright right now, but it, it's like an icy blue color. Maybe you can tell now, yeah, it's like an icy blue. I really love it. So I got those, we're gonna keep those on for the rest of the video. I got a set of these four like plastic rings. These are like on trend right now. I honestly don't know how I feel about them, but I thought they'd be cute for when I go to the beach with like my nighttime summer outfits. You could like mix and match, play around with them. So yeah, that's all I got from Amazon so far, but you know what, I'd be ordering things every day and I just get packages every day. I definitely have more coming in the next couple days. So next, I will show you guys what I got from Boohoo and I specifically shopped for my trip. Do you guys like when you go on a vacation do you guys just like shop endlessly for whatever vacation you're going on like ridiculous amount of clothes you don't need but you just buy so much stuff for a vacation because i am guilty of that so i got a pair of flip-flops i saw um i think it was josie pelicano is her name on instagram i saw her wearing these and a pair of pants I also got I saw her wearing so credit to Josie but I got these flip-flops and I thought this would be so cute for the beach I love the platform flip-flops they are back in style and I love the design of the thong and it's just so sporty I feel like I could wear this with like wide-legged pants and like a crop top and a blazer for a nighttime outfit these are bikini bottoms super holy crap that's super high-waisted that's nice and I really like the design of it. It's kind of like a crinkled. Here is the matching top. It's like a knot tie. Super cute. Goodness gracious. I literally bought like probably seven bathing suits. And I ha already have so many. Go figure. Oh wow, that is a peach color. I thought this was going to be white. Did they send me the wrong color? Oh, it's beige. Okay, so I got this top. And it's like a corset style. It has like the wires, the wiring down here. And it's like a deep plunge. I really thought it was like a unique design. And then here's the back. So yeah, I thought that would be really unique and pretty for the beach. Again, with wearing some like wide-legged pants. These are a pair of pants that I got inspiration from Josie also. And they are a cream color pants. And I already have so many pants like this, but I really like the design because it has like this like string attached to it. So it's like a tie around, you can like tie it you know around your waist like that if you know what i mean and i got those same pants in black because i couldn't decide and you know how boohoo is always 50 60 percent off so everything's like super cheap so yeah we got got those in black too i got them in size 10. one last thing yes i got a jumpsuit i really love this pretty lime color oh i didn't realize this was in the shot the whole time but I got this so like I could wear my, my Jacques Mousse back with it. Okay, let me move that over. Sorry that was in the way the whole time. And I liked the cut of this romper. I thought it was like so Y2K. It's like a halter, like this little ring here and tie it up like that. Super cute. So I will try 
all of these clothes on right now. Here is the romper. I absolutely love it. And with the sunglasses, I feel like it's such like a 70s vibe. Like the color, the style of the ring halter up here. I don't know, something about it is just so cute. And then here are the sandals, the um, like flip flops that I that I also got. They're so comfortable, I love them. Okay, sorry the sun's setting so the lighting's like weird right now, but here is the corset top and it looks super weird right now because I have my bra on. I don't think this is a top you can wear your bra with, but I really like it. I think the cut is like really cute. I like how like plunge this is. And these are the black pants, but I'm gonna show these again and wear like a crop top because you can't really see the like tie design on it. But I like how like the cut is like it's kind of like wide on the bottom and they fit pretty good here is one of the tops that i got from amazon it's so stretchy and comfortable i think it's really cute but i'm like not used to wearing stuff like this, this is kind of out of my comfort zone so i'm definitely gonna wear like a blazer or something over this and here are the black pants you can kind of see like how it looks like with the string so yeah i love the outfit i feel like it's so y2k especially with the flip-flops Happy Saturday. It is Saturday morning and I'm just kind of tidying up the place. I have had just a nice relaxing morning. I had my coffee. I did a little bit of Pilates stretching when I woke up and I feel great and I love feeling great on weekends like early morning and being productive. It's just so relaxing. So right now I'm going to clean up my apartment. I'm going to vacuum off the floors and kind of wipe down the counters. And yeah, just clean up. My friends are coming later around six o'clock tonight. So today I'm just gonna clean. And then I also want to show you guys some new makeup that I got from e.l.f. I talked about it in my last vlog. I bought it from Target and I just got a bunch of e.l.f. products that I wanted to do like a try on. So we'll do my makeup later. So I'm gonna go clean my office right now. I got my La Colombe oat milk latte. And since I did that try on haul yesterday, Everything is just like on the floor. Oh, also my ring light broke. So I had to buy a new one. That one is Onto. That's like one of those like soft light ones. So I bought a new one. Where is it? Oh, it's in the corner there. So yeah, just a lot of stuff to clean up. So I think I'll clean the office first and then we'll clean the outside. Mm -hmm.
And now, apartment. Main area is all clean. I can't remember the last time I had that much motivation to clean, but everything's great. You guys saw me clean my bedroom in the last vlog and also cleaned the bathroom. I cleaned up this hallway. This was like, I never show this area because it's always so messy because we always have shoes everywhere. There's like a hundred bags on here, but we finally cleaned that and the bathroom. Looking cute, looking nice. Hope you guys enjoyed that little cleaning montage. So I'm going to show you guys the e.l.f. products now. I think I'm gonna just put on a little bit of makeup so it's perfect timing. I can just try on all these products, give you guys my first impressions, and do something with all this. I look crazy. So first I got some skincare products. I got a facial cream, it's the Holy Hydration Face Cream. It has hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. And then I also got the Illuminating Eye Cream with Cucumber and Green Tea. I believe this is a new line on the website. When I was looking at their website, I saw that the Holy Hydration products are brand new. So, let's try it. It was only, I think this was $10. I think both of them were $10. So, very affordable. But you guys know that e.l.f. is a pretty affordable brand. I really like the packaging. Doesn't have a fragrance. I can't do fragrances because my skin is sensitive. But this is really... Like nice and light pretty lightweight but it's not too lightweight it's not too thick either it's like a nice medium and then this eye cream helps to reduce dark circles and puffiness for glowy looking skin it's very lightweight almost kind of like a water cream it doesn't really have a fragrance at all so that's nice okay so we're moisturized so i'm going to use this primer i got a tone adjusting facial primer this helps to adjust the like redness on your face kind of helps neutralize your face and get rid of all those red tones because green cancels out red and i believe this was six dollars or eight dollars and everything i got aside from the facial stuff is under ten dollars so you guys know elf is like super affordable that's what that looks like oh i noticed right away on the bridge of my nose it gets like really red and it's like it hid the redness right away. I don't know if you guys can tell on screen because it's like really bright. It is helping with the redness a little bit. I think I want to do another like coat of it. So now I'm going to put on some foundation. I got the Flawless Satin Foundation. I hope this is the right color because I wasn't able to try it on in store. This is in 220 beige. It has cool pink undertones. So I have like neutral pink undertones. It's oil free, medium coverage. I like medium coverage. That might be a little bit too light. Oh wait. Mmm, yeah, a little bit too light. Wow, it is good coverage. I think it's an okay color. I can just like put extra bronzer over. So there's the coverage. You can still see kind of like my redness of my cheek, but I usually like put two coats of foundation on to, to cover that up. So aside from the color, I really do like the coverage and it feels like nice and lightweight. It's not too greasy or oily it does say it's oil free i think right yeah i think i want to go back um and exchange it though for i think maybe one or two shades darker maybe two shades so i also got a concealer i got the 16 hour camo concealer again i hope this is the right color i got medium peach i usually go for lighter colors under my under eye to just to like brighten it up oh this looks like my color this looks like the other concealers i use let's not put too much just start with that and I like to let my concealer set in for like 30 seconds to a minute. Definitely good coverage. Again, I think this might be a little bit, a little bit light. I think I need to get a shade darker. <laughs> yeah, I look really pale. But the coverage is very nice. Now I'll do bronzer. I got a bronzer. This is the Primer Infused Bronzer in the color Forever Sunkissed. Ooh, I like that. That is pretty. I'm gonna just put this everywhere. <laughs> For like an all over glowy tan so i got this blush it's the monochromatic multi stick in the shade glimmering guava so i guess you can use this for multiple things you can use this for your lips your cheeks and your eyes so we'll put this on my cheek let's just put a little bit like that oh okay for that lifted look blends nicely i like that color very pinky and pretty that's so pretty for summer. For summer, I just always want to glow with my makeup. 
I really like that. Okay. I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick because I feel like my makeup is like unproportioned or weird looking if my eyebrows are not done. So stay tuned really quick. Now I'm going to do eyeshadow. I got this little quad. This was only $3. It is the Bite Size Eyeshadow in Pumpkin Pie. These are like my go-to shades. If you guys watch my makeup videos, you know that I always gravitate towards these like brown, warm colors. It comes with two matte shades and two glimmery shades. I'll probably do this for like the overall eyelid. Maybe that can be the outer corner and then maybe that could be like on my lid because I like gold shades too. I really like those colors. Ooh, they look good together. All right, I like that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put on my mascara. I just got three more things and they're all lip products. So I got these two lipsticks. They are the Seriously Satin Lipstick. I got two colors. So this one here is cream. This is nectar. The cream is just like a nice nude color. And the nectar, it looks dark on screen, but it's more of like a, um, like a nice rosy pink color, which I think is what I'm gonna be using. Ooh, that's pretty. like a really pretty red color i think what i want to do is i want to layer it with the cream just to make it a little bit more lighter wait that's so pretty just putting it in like the middle for like that contoured look the consistency is amazing it is really creamy okay so those are the lipsticks here's kind of an up close wow that's pretty. Okay, and then the last thing I got is a lip gloss. It is their lip lacquer in the color Fantasy. It's like a champagne sparkly color. It has like glitter in it. So I'll put this on top. All right, there it is with the gloss. That's so pretty, I love that. That's like my go-to like lip color. Okay guys, so that's all that I got from e.l.f. And here's the final look. Cute and natural, I really like it. And I'm really happy with the consistency of all the products, like all of the textures and all that good stuff. I'm going to just put on some setting spray. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. I need to head out because I need to go pick up the food, the seafood. And I think my order is ready. Yes, I just got a text that it's ready. So I will check in with you guys later. I'm so excited to eat. We went to Hook and Rail. I can't remember if I said that yet but we got like four different boils oh my god it smells so good i'm gonna show you guys that when we're eating i'm mad i forgot sausage yeah so oh. I, I made sausage oh. <laughs> we're saving money it's fine yeah. <laughs> Target right now. I'm with Anto. Bonjour. It's pretty late at night, but we had a craving. Uh, we want to try to make Korean corn dogs. Okay, so we've never had them before, but y'all know they're popular. So we're gonna attempt to make it. I'm gonna attempt. To yeah, make it. I, she's I'm, making me do everything tonight because I'm tired. And she said I gotta do the dishes. Like, yeah, someone come pick your girl up. I'm tired. Anto's doing all the cooking and cleaning boss, tonight. Boss. So we're gonna go. We're at Target now. It's uh -uh. like. 9.45, it's pretty late. Do I need any more candles? Probably not. It's up uh, to you. Do you want to do yeah. that extra work? This is just what we got. I feel I'll like just that's pick, so I'll good. just pick out the tomatoes. Yeah, I take so. the stuff out. Yo, we're at Target right now. It's closed. But it calls off the lights. Yo. Yo. <laughs> okay, so, but we got everything. Oh my God, we were running around like it was yeah. like supermarket thought, yeah, sweepstakes. No, I was legit like running in the yeah, aisles. Beat the top. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock on the dot. I thought they closed at 11 o'clock, but I forgot it's Sunday. So we're, we're literally running in the in the aisles. We're back onto us preparing the ingredients, the batter and all that. You know what I'm saying? Walkie slush. Okay, so why is that so thick? That's what she said. No, that's really thick. I'm gonna add a little more water. Cut, cut, the, cut the video off. <laughs> so we have hot Cheetos, regular breadcrumbs, the hot dogs, and then we also got mozzarella. But we didn't know which type of cheese to get, so we got cheese sticks too. And we're gonna put potatoes on one of them. And that's the batter. That's really the batter is flour, warm water. Get, you know what I'm saying? Other than the warm water, you gotta oh, get yeast. some yeast, not the infection. The the Ew! 
I just want to make sure they know what kind of yeast. <laughs> yeast is what? It, it, it makes the uh, flour puff. It, like rise, yeah. And apparently you're supposed to like refrigerate this batter. Oh, seriously? Yeah. So we're testing one out because Anto doesn't know if the dough is thick enough. So we're going to see how this looks. The dough got to be as thick as that. Keep coming in. I am. It looks good. Ooh, that crunch though. Ooh, you got the cheese. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Dang. <laughs> Did I miss this? <laughs> oh. I think you, you might have the. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Mm. It's good, right? That one is good. Wow. Oh my god, the cheese one is so good. No, I don't know why I like this so popular. Hey guys, it is the next morning. I'm currently editing this vlog and I forgot to end the vlog last night. So I hope you guys enjoyed my weekend in a life. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more vlogs like this. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.